And it's time right now for a bigger picture with Dr. Dan from Sioux Falls Hypnosis. Hello, Hello. sir. I'm good. How are you? I'm fantastic. We, uh, we were having a nice chat ahead of time here, which we like to do. <laughs> Today, it was a lot longer than normal. Well, right. And we were, <laughs> we were talking about the, the times in our lives where we really made our first big mistake. Yeah. Well, well it, what started it, we were talking about larger than life personalities and some yeah. broadcast people. And, and uh, you know, with that comes sometimes some egos as well. And, but we were chatting a little bit about, you know, sometimes you, you make a, a little uh, faux pas, you make a little accident. Or a big faux pas. Yeah. And then uh, it's not, we all make mistakes. It's how you right. handle it that makes the But it's difference. what happens after that because, yeah. you know, how many, and what we were talking about is exchanging stories about, <clears throat> excuse me, how many people we knew that had made big mistakes and that it, it, it really caused them yeah. problems. That they, then, they really started to struggle in one way or another afterwards. And then they leave that flaming mess and mm -hmm. they go somewhere else and they do all of the same things and right. then shockingly they have another mm -hmm. flaming mess yeah. right and that's the thing that happens if you don't handle the first flaming mess yeah in a in a useful way you, whatever that is you're going to take that hurt and that injustice and that yeah. unf and all of the things you're telling yourself and you're going to haul them out and you're going to recreate that at some point in time again and so this idea is, is how you handle as a, as a, well, at any point in your life, how do you handle a big mistake? But particularly when you're young, how do you handle that first one Yeah, where you, you, you get out over your skis because yeah. it happens to all of us yeah. professionally, personally, whatever it is, where we, we, we think more of ourselves than what we, you know, we're writing checks we can't cash or whatever the metaphor <laughs> you want to select. And the idea is, is, is you need to be able to handle that usefully. First, you need to know it's coming. You will you will get in trouble. You oh, will yeah. make a mistake. You yeah. will, you will read the signals wrong. You will get out over your skis. You, you, you know, your, you, your ego will, will put you in a place where you're going to have a problem. Yeah. It's just going to happen. So first is when it does go down yeah. is recognize that this is just normal and Absolutely. okay. Ev this happens to everybody. I don't care who they are or where, you know, People currently running for president will have a story like this oh, yeah. from their youth oh, yeah. where they said or did something that they had to pay some kind of price for. Because they're people just like us. Right. We're all and, just people. And so the first thing you have to know is, is cut yourself some slack. This happens yeah. to everybody. You know, take a deep breath and, and, and step away from the, because at, at that moment we have every opportunity to tell ourselves that, oh, this is unfair. It's unjust. It's yeah. not right. And what we begin to do is we begin to defend ourselves and begin to blame the system, the people, the boss, whatever it is. Because that's our first instinct is to get out from under the blame. Yeah. To get out from under the, the responsibility for that. And what I'm suggesting you do is first remember it's normal and okay. Take a deep breath yeah. and step into that rather than blaming. Because the fact of the matter is, is, is if you made a mistake... Yeah. No matter what your rationale is, no matter what it is, you have to take responsibility for that. Absolutely. Because that speaks to who you are. And you can pretend like it didn't happen, but that doesn't usually work out very or well. Or it's someone else's fault. Or It never works. The, That's the thing. There's an example, uh, the TV show Seinfeld. They were really good at taking things that really happened in their lives and then making mm -hmm. it part of the show. Mm -hmm. And there was an episode where George Costanza quits his job, and then he gets home and he realizes... That was a good job. Why did I quit? Mm -hmm. And he just decides, I'm going to just go back to work and see what happens. <laughs> and that happened in real life to right. Larry David. He quit Saturday Night Live. He was a writer, and none of his sketches were getting on, and he was all upset. And he was a young mm -hmm. writer, and he hadn't really proven himself, and he made a big deal of the fact that none of my stuff's getting on anyway. I'm out of here. And he just leaves. And then he shows up the next week, and he just comes into work like nothing ever happened. And uh, it, I just thought that was kind of a funny thing that he did right. that. And then I was visiting with you ahead yeah. of time about a friend of mine who his situation was different. He was fired and he just showed up for work the next day and he stayed there for like another six months, three months. Right. And the idea is, is when you make that mistake, relax, know yeah. it's normal, know that, yeah, you may have to pay a price for that <laughs> and, and that you can do that. Own up to it. You, you have to, to step into that. You may have to apologize. You may have to uh, take some kind of demotion. You may have to make amends, whatever mm -hmm. it is, but- that in there is exactly the lesson you need to have. Yeah. And it is also the exact thing that needs to happen so that this doesn't become a dumpster fire that, that you then move on and light the next dumpster you're in on fire. Absolutely. Because it is the injustice and the anger and the hurt and the avoidance of responsibility and blame that, that we take with us. That's what the next, next dumpster fire is made out of. Absolutely. And to be able to do this well. I mean, okay, if you lose your job, 
that's rough. Yeah. Big, big, deep breath. Let's all move on. Because again, it happens to everybody. Yeah. But it is that that sense of injustice, yeah. that need to get out out from under the blame. This isn't my fault. Uh, whatever it is, our 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 just gut level need to not have this land on us. That is what the next dumpster fire is made of. Yeah, and and you sadly bring a lot of that with you. You take it all with you. And if you're showing up at the next mm-hmm. job with all these uh, little kindling that are still kind of smoldering mm-hmm. from the last dumpster fire, it, it might even have that dumpster fire sooner. Yeah, absolutely. The idea is is to to recognize that it is okay to make a mistake. Yeah, I mean we don't want to, no, no. but it is okay to make a mistake. It is okay to be to blame. Own it up. Own it. It is, it is okay to be to blame. And you may have to not only take the blame, yeah. but you may have to accept a punishment for that, yeah. whatever it is, and take a deep breath and recognize the fact that that is appropriate and okay. Yeah, absolutely. And that simple thing, being able to accept the blame and even take a punishment and to recognize, yeah, I needed this. Yeah. I needed to have this land on me. I needed to take this particular um, uh, punishment for this and realize that, okay, this was appropriate and I get to be all right. See, Absolutely. that's the thing. It is appropriate and I get to be all right. Very because nice. it, again, if you have to, if you have to escape that, if you have to act out, if you have to try to get away from it, that is what the next dumpster fire is made of. If somebody listening is saying, hey, I've got uh, a trail of dumpster fires, and <laughs> I would like to get things I on track. I would love to talk to them. Yeah. Well, and the thing, that, again, Dr. Dan's with Sioux Falls Hypnosis, and, and you might not necessarily think about hypnosis for that, but if people are stressed out, if they're having all kinds of issues, th- those are some of the things that you can help with. If they're stuck in a chain of dumpster fires. Yes. <laughs> and they're not quite sure why this keeps happening to them. Yeah. Yes. That is something that hypnosis does very well. And it's it's having a strategy, again, just what we said, to be able to have the blame land on you and then realize that it is okay and you get to be okay and you get to be a good person even after that happens. Yeah. That's exactly what we need to have so that we can stop this series of things from happening. What is and that's the, we do that at Sioux Falls Hypnosis. And what is the best way for somebody to connect with you, sir? Sure. You can find us on the internet at SiouxFallsHypnosis.com. You can call us directly at 605-702-6691. Very nice. And again, SiouxFallsHypnosis.com is his website. If you're catching the tail end of this and you're going, boy, I wonder what they were talking about. You can find this as a podcast at SiouxFallsPodcast.com.